Electromagnetic radiation is mostly harmless. However, there are certain types uh, that will cause damage to living tissue. So let's take a look at microwaves and x-rays and the safety issues that uh, come up with their use. So microwaves are used uh, primarily in communications. You'll see these towers around the place. Those are uh, line of sight transmitters and they're useful for like uh, mobile networks. Obviously mobile phones uh, also use types of microwave and we have microwave ovens. Now the, the common theme is that microwaves can penetrate skin and energy is absorbed by body tissue. And uh, depending on the wavelength, the microwaves can heat that tissue, can heat the internal organs and cells, and can damage them. So why is this? Well, microwaves have a, a similar vibration, of a similar frequency of vibration to the vibrations of molecules of many substances, such as water. Uh, and that's why we can heat water in a microwave oven. It's because those waves are absorbed by those molecules, making them vibrate with larger amplitudes. So let's let's just write this down. We've got uh, microwaves, and they can they can penetrate skin, and can penetrate skin and are absorbed. by body tissue. Now this means that uh, they can heat and potentially and possibly damage living cells. Now, as I said, it all depends on the wavelength, the distance from one wobble to the next, from one peak to the next. And with microwaves, we're, we're talking around wavelengths in the region of one meter to one millimeter. Cell phones or mobile phones generally have a wavelength of about 17 centimeters, whereas microwave ovens are a bit less than that. They have 12 centimeter wavelengths or thereabouts. Um, the longer wavelengths used in mobile phones won't heat as strongly as those shorter wavelengths. But that's one thing that we need to bear in mind, a safety issue. Okay, what about x-rays? Well, the uses of x-rays include medical uses such as uh, being able to look inside uh, a part of your body because x-rays are absorbed by the bone, the denser bone, but the, the softer tissue lets the x-rays through. And so we see a kind of negative photograph that can show us bone fractures, etc. Or they might be used at the airport to see inside bags through luggage scans. Now, x-rays are much, much smaller in wavelength. So x-rays are typically 0.1 to 10 nanometers. Now a nano is a billionth of a meter. So x-rays, the, the distance from one wobble, one peak to the next, is about a millionth of a millimeter. That's pretty small. Now generally with electromagnetic radiation, as you get smaller in wavelength, let's just write that down, a smaller wavelength, means that the wave carries more energy. That the wave carries more energy. Now, x-rays can penetrate. So x-rays can penetrate living tissue. And because they carry so much energy, they can 
They can penetrate living tissue and cause what's called ionization. Ionization. Ionization is when an electromagnetic wave knocks an electron or two out of an atom and causes that atom to become charged. And that can create unwanted chemical reactions to take place. So x-rays can penetrate living tissue and cause ionization, uh, which can kill living cells or cause unwanted cancerous changes cause cancerous changes. See these the atoms that have been ionized in the cell can start reacting with things they shouldn't react with that might kill the cell or it might change the the blueprint of the, uh, the cell for example the cell's DNA and the cell might start to reproduce uncontrollably and that uh, would cause a cancer so some electromagnetic waves, especially the shorter wavelengths such as X-rays and gamma rays, for example, can cause cancerous changes.